What's going on guys? I consider myself a jack of all trades, but my name is Jeff. So welcome back to Jeff of all trades. Today I'm doing something really fun and interesting. Actually going to go over the Shield RMSC site uh, from Shield Sites. Also on the website of uh, DoveMounts.com. They had this site up there. I looked at it. It almost looked too good to be true. I wanted to take this thing, put it through some tests, put it through some stress, and really see what it could handle. It's got an acrylic lens to it. Maybe we can break it. Maybe we can make it go off zero. I don't know what we're going to get into today, but we're going to take you to the range. I'm going to put it through a little bit of stress, do some drop tests on it, rack it on some concrete, and see if we can break this thing. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into it. All right, so before we get into anything about the site, the zeroing in, everything like that, I just wanted to show it to you on the gun. So this is the RMSC footprint, the shield, and it's absolutely fantastic. I really, really like it. It's got a glass lens. Uh, there's no color to it, but that actually makes it extremely clear, in my opinion. The other thing I really like about it is the option to co-witness with this is not like many other sites I've seen before. If I can do this. You can see how everything goes all the way through the back of the site, through the raised sites on the dove plate, and then to the raised site in the front there. And it's actually really easy to co-witness with this thing if you ever needed to do so. So the first thing I did was just took a group of 10 shots, shooting at about seven to 10 yards. And that's what we got. It's a little bit right, which I could adjust. Uh, a little bit of that is me as well. But that's what we're looking at. So I have another target set up over here, which is completely blank. And I'm going to put this thing through a little bit of harm, a little bit of damage. We'll see how the site itself holds up, as well as that uh, dove plate. And we'll see how well that this is going to hold up against some of this stuff. Um, I want to drop it a few times. I want to rack it on a table, on some equipment, uh, on some concrete, and I really want to see what it's going to do and how it's going to hold zero. Um, with these types of things, with the dove mount itself, a lot of people say it's not going to hold zero. You're going to shoot two shots out of it and it's going to go off. It's just a gimmicky device. It hasn't been that way for me, but I have only used it with my Holosuns, my Vortex Venom, my Vortex Vipers, but I haven't used it with this shield. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. Let's see what we can do with it. I'll put it through a few stresses. We'll take a few shots, see how it holds. If it still holds, we'll put it through some more. Let's see if we can break this thing. Because we're out and about, I do apologize for the quality of this video. I don't have all my equipment here. Uh, I'm using my cell phone. I have no stand or anything. Everything's just freestanding. So it's going to be a little bit different uh, and a little poor quality. But hopefully you guys can look past that and go to the premise of this video of what we're trying to show here. So as you can see, the magazine is empty. There is no magazine in the gun. As well as the barrel is empty as well. I wanted to show you that before we went through any more testing on this. Let's go ahead and put the slide forward in one take so you know that it's clear completely. And also for YouTube purposes, I am at a gun range. I'm not in my backyard, not in my garage. This is my personal gun range that I have uh, and it's completely safe and legal to shoot. So for the first test we have, I just want to take this and rack it on something that's harder than using your hand and being gentle with it. I want to rack it a few times on this hard surface. Uh, Really try to stress out the plate, do it pretty vigorously, and then I'm going to load the weapon, and we're going to go out and shoot a few. So let's see what we can do with that. Alright. As you can see, done a little damage to this. Little bit of damage there. Let's see if that wipes off. Alright, well, it looks like there's no real damage. Let's see how well it held zero. Alright, so this is test number one. 
with using the table itself to rack the slide a few times. Let's see if it holds zero from seven yards. One, two, three, four, five. I think it held zero. Let's go to the next test. All right, going on to the next test, I want to use some concrete to rack this thing and, and really see if I can make it hurt. So again, clear magazine, clear pistol, nothing in the chamber. Slide forward, that's how that'll remain. Like I said before, I did want to use something on there. It looks a little bit silly, but you know what? I don't want to scratch up the top of my Glock 17, so I'm going to put a little bit of duct tape on there. Uh, since I'm going against the concrete, we'll see if we can make that break, but not my slide. I'm sure the slide wouldn't break, but I don't want it to be scratched. Again, this is a glass lens. They call it the acrylic lens. Uh, they do have a plastic lens as well, but I wanted to use the glass one to see if I could really get it to break, see if anything scratched up on it or whatnot. So let's go ahead and uh, get this boy racked. All on this piece of concrete looks good. Again, still empty. So, you can see how hard I'm hitting it. Obviously, you guys have heard me say it before. I never want to support a product that I don't believe in. That's the main reason I'm doing this test. You can see, well, obviously the brick is coming apart on it. Uh, let's take it and see if it zeroes. We'll clean it off, see if there's any scratches, and we'll go from there. Before we go into the next phase, I cleared this off. The weapon is still cleared. I haven't put anything in it. I'm surprised on how well the plate has held up, to be honest with you. Now, I did test this plate before before I made the initial video on it. It's held up fantastic. It hasn't budged at all. There's no left to right. Now, I did set it. I put blue Loctite on the set screw for the plate itself. I also installed these screws with blue Loctite as well. But that's how you're supposed to do any red dot if you're putting it on, whether you have the dove mount or your gun is already cut and ready to go. The dove plate itself took very very little damage obviously you can see a little bit of scraping up here uh, but the glass is still good there's no scratches in it that I can see red dot still working perfectly so let's see how well the zero held up with a little bit of use and abuse then we'll get into a drop test to really try to jostle that red dot in the back and see if it'll lose zero right now we've kind of just been testing the integrity of the site itself so far i'm actually really surprised for such an affordable site not too shabby all right so this is test number two using the concrete to rack the weapon trying to damage it let's see if we can hit this circle consecutively with a pretty good grouping now what i'm looking for is not a little bit off hey these ones are a little more left than the other ones you got to understand i'm not a professional shooter I'm not a marksman. I'm simply shooting the best that I can. What I'm looking for is something that really threw off zero or something that's going to make you not hit anywhere near where you're supposed to hit. And there's five more shots. One, two, three, four, five. That one was definitely me. I pulled my shot, pushed down for the recoil, and that's what that one was there. You can see the great grouping. Everything's right where it's supposed to be. Similar to the other ones, nothing too far right, too left. Uh, again, that's just human error for me not knowing what I'm doing. So <laughs> let's go ahead to the next test. Let's do a few drop tests and try to get that laser to knock around a little bit. All right, time for the drop test. I don't like dropping my weapons. Really don't like putting them on the ground, but we're going to do it for science. Again, cleared weapon. Everything wants to be safe. Nothing in the chamber. Everything is safe. 
no cuts on this. That way nobody can say it was loaded or you did something unsafe. Let's go ahead and drop it on the ground. I'm dropping it into grass. I'm not throwing it on concrete. Give it a little higher drop. Another drop. This time we'll drop it sight side down. And now let's just throw it that way. Let's see how it holds. All right, time for test number three. This was the drop test. I'm gonna be aiming right here at this one. Let's see how we do. Seven yards. There's your five shots. Doesn't look like it lost any zero to me. Let's see what we can do next with this thing. Next test here, make sure it's clear. No magazine. Clear chamber. There we go. Now, I'm gonna take some of these rocks. Some of this dirt, right? Let's get a little bit of fine dirt in there too. There we go. And I want to take that and put it right in the site where that laser goes and see if I can't get anything to jam up in it. Looks pretty well. While that's sitting in there doing its thing, let's take a rock to the front and see if we can scratch it. That one looks pretty good. And finally, we have some damage. Let's see if it affects the gun. First thing I want to note is that nothing stayed in the back there. So that's definitely keeping the laser safe. Where is it? I can't, I can't really focus on it, but you can see the laser is still there. Looks a lot better. There we go. <laughs> it looks a lot better if you're not looking through a cell phone. Uh, but the laser is definitely still there, so nothing's jammed in there. The laser still looks great, still has the correct MOA. Scratching the glass, as you would expect, it did leave some scratch marks. And there you have it. That was a fun video to make, and I'm really, really surprised. Not only that I could throw it, rack it on concrete, do whatever I wanted to do to this site, try to fill it with sand and dirt, uh, it's not the most rigorous testing you could do. Sure, you could do something extra, but I'm sure most people watching this video aren't even going to drop their gun, let alone rack it on concrete. But the fun fact of the matter is that you can. This thing is going to withstand damage. The dove mount itself held up actually a lot better than I thought, and that wasn't even the intention of the video. Uh, but it's really cool to see that a site like this that I have never heard of before can withstand the damage that I tried to put it through. Of course, the glass lens was going to scratch a little bit when I scratched it with rock, but even then, something about the coating on it made it so you could see through it clearly otherwise. If you're going to take care of your guns like I do, these stress tests don't really matter. But if you are concerned with the plate itself, or if you're concerned that a brand that you're going to buy and put your hard-earned money on might not withstand the elements that you're going to put it through, hopefully this video can put your mind at ease. I really, really was impressed with this. Uh, I wouldn't have been making a video on it if I wouldn't put my own name on it. And I definitely support the Shield brand. Go and pick one up yourself. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. And as always, be safe. I'll see you in the next one.